I'm in a Windows Server 2022, and what I want to do is I want to join this to a domain. So I'm going to click on the Start button, click on Settings, and when I'm in Settings, I'll click on System. And in System, I'll click on About, or Aboot, if you're from the north. And I'm going to click on Advanced System Settings, and then Computer Name. So here we see this computer is a member of a work group. I would like to join it to a domain. So I'll click on domain. I already know the name of my domain, so I just need to type it in, including the fully qualified domain name. So it's called techpub.us. So you already have to have Active Directory set up, which I did in a separate video. Now we're going to get prompted for username and password. But first we have to make sure that the uh, DNS settings are pointing to the correct domain controller. So it's saying, hey, I can't reach that domain controller. So how do I fix this problem? So before we do that, we got to go into Network and Sharing Center. So I can click on, type in the full Network and Sharing Center, click on Control Panel, or just simply right click and choose Open Network and Internet Settings. Any one of those are fine. And then I'll click on either Network and Sharing Center or to get a more direct change, I'll click on Change Adapter Settings. Now I'm going to want to change this to be the DNS server of my domain controller, so that way it can find it. I'm going to choose my IPv4 settings as because that's what I'm using. And I'm going to change this to be just the IP address of my domain controller. There we go. You don't want to have a public and a private IP address as you saw earlier because you want to set up the DNS server to be a forwarder, which I'll show you in a separate video. So this is the DNS IP address for my domain controller. I'll click OK and OK. So now I'll go ahead and join to the domain back to where I was before. And we should get prompted and we do for the username and password of our domain. And it says, welcome to the domain. After a click OK, sometimes you're going to see an error message. I'll just click uh, OK that we need to restart and close. Sometimes you'll see an error message about not being able to change the DNS name. You can just ignore that. And what you want to do now is restart. And when you restart, you'll see that the server is now joined into the new Active Directory domain.